my task today is to recall on our successful case of application of uh, radiation treatment for saving of cultural uh, uh, heritage objects endangered by war, war in Croatia. Uh, the leader of the project was a head, former head of a laboratory, late Dr. Rajem, Dusan Rajem, and on behalf of Croatian Confederation Institute, it was Mario Brown. The war in Croatia from 1991 to 1995 was fought on the uh, Croatian territory, and it put uh, many cultural objects in great peril. In autumn 1991, the Institute for Protection of Cultural Monuments initiated a massive action of withdrawal of uh, heritage objects from immediate war zone to the previously determined storage places. In order of Croatia, there were 15 selected larger secret shelters. Uh, while in joint action of conservators and, um, and uh, responsible persons, it was a um, whole collection of museum, galleries, churches, libraries, and archives were moved to the safer place. As far as church inventory are concerned, Mr. Jeremy Laszlo, a leader of evacuation project, referred on the quantity of cultural objects which correspond to about 3,000 complete altars. Well, uh, I can say now that in the case of uh, emergency and disaster, as it is all, there are not, not uh, either plan for rescu uh, rescuing. So it happened that a significant fraction of cultural heritage objects was lost and damaged during the war. It is the same with the architectural heritage, with, uh, with um, objects from the churches or uh, items uh, from museums and galleries. But by prolongation of war, additional problems become evident for evacuated cultural heritage objects. Inadequate temporary shelters induce serious deterioration of objects sensitive to bioveteration. To reduce the problem, it was decided to apply only methods capable of treating larger quantities of materials. It was irradiation by uh, cobalt 60 gamma rays in facility existing in Ruger Boschkovich Institute. Supervised by Croatian Conservation Institute, more than one third of objects evacuated from northern Croatia, mostly wooden church inventory, comprising or corresponding about 1,000 complete altars were treated in radiation um, uh, Ruger Boschkovich Institute for disinfection or disinfection. Irritated treatment enabled a safe storage before in, uh, conservation, and significant number of irradiated objects were stored in the uh, uh, Croatian Conservation Institute depot in the Lundek. It, this, is, this was a newly established uh, space for the war endangered object. It, it is presented on the next slide. Uh, it was very convenient because the, the dimension is very spacious and it is far from the war zone. In 1994, a newly constructed restoration workshop in the Rudrek immediately started the recovery of the war uh, damages. Uh, now I will, I will show a few, few examples in which we, for examples, how we took, took part in saving uh, cultural heritage object. This was the Church of Blessed Mary. It was the Pauline Monastery was occupied in 1991 and, and destroyed by Yugoslav army. One day before the occupation, the few conservators removed 29 sculptures, but mainly the construction of altars remained. And remaining altar was burned during the operation, the, the occupation, and in 1995, after restoration, the remaining unburned parts of the altar were found choked in microflora. 
that is in very bad condition. In the process of processing, that means collecting, drying, wrapping, after that process, uh, the, the remains were packed and brought to Institut Rudzewoszkoc for irradiation. And it was irradiated, part of them was irradiated by field rays, and strongly infected material was um, from the crypt were irradiated to 10 kilograms. Found elements of the ornament enabled reconstruction of the altar itself. After conservation, restoration, and reconstruction, the altar was re erected and returned into the repaired church in 2008. The next example is the San Sandor Church in Lovish and Yakarovac. In 1981, of course, the church was damaged, but shortly before that, the altar and inventory was, um, was um, evacuated and followed the, uh, as a first step of um, conservation. The um, uh, materials, the altar and inventory was uh, disinfected by the in Narrow Institute. Conservation continued at workshop in Lodberg, and was completed in 1995. And after it was returned to the church, it was the first church restored after the war. The latest uh, example is beautiful politic of Saint, uh, Virgin Saint Mary. It is from the uh, uh, 15th century and attributed to be very familiar. It was dismantled in 1991 in anticipation of war damages. Well, it wasn't, the church wasn't hit by, by uh, or, or destroyed. But then, I think in this case, a stored uh, politic was uh, over, uh, went very bad uh, uh, deterioration. So in 1996, as a first step of conservation, all uh, dismantled uh, um, politic was disinfected with two kilograms. After long conservation and restoration, it was returned in church in 2004 in full glory. So now I will make conclusions. I think that we can say that use of irradiation for the preservation of cultural objects against massive bioterration during the war in Croatia was recognized by the international community as an especially useful application. Uh, the, uh, the recognition was put as a note in the news of conservation by our friend from uh, Grenoble, France. And it was just in 19, uh, 2007, it was like uh, the first and historic workshop um, under the project of International Atomic Energy Agency. And from this we, in that time and that workshop, we realized that there are few countries active in protection of heritage, of heritage protection by radiation. So, and we, we knew that there are several high profile cases. And it is very important to, to stress on such such um, high profile cases because in that way uh, the radiation system become more visible and and it makes more susceptible for a, 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 um, exception from the professional from in the conservation field uh, high profile cases or the cases of uh, successful uh, application of treatment are also the con in the context of the book which our colleague uh, Katerina mentioned, uses of ionizing radiation for tangible cultural and heritage conservation. This is EIA, this is the agency that published this book. And um, I think it is, it is uh, as I agree, that it's very useful uh, publication for this day. And I, I um, congratulate our, our young friend to take part in the book, which, which is the, uh, uh, and that way it will be written now. Thank you for your attention.